good afternoon, everybody. Uh, looks like we're a few minutes early. I'm going to go ahead and start unmuting some people. Uh, but if Brian, there's some background, hey Jim, if there's background noise, we'll go ahead and mute everybody again. Hi, Caitlin, are you there? Hi, Robert, how are you? Hi, Caitlin. Thanks for showing up. Appreciate your help. I had to download webinar really quick, so I got a little nervous. <laughs> I was trying to get out of a lunch meeting, so I, I was I was going about 100 miles an hour back to the office. My lunch meeting came out a little bit long. <clears throat> and then I that? also have Rob on my side, uh, my conference him in, so he's on my end, too, just to be an extra set of ears for me. Okay, great. What's going on? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Doing well, doing well. I'm just going to be sitting in the background eating my lunch. There you go. This is Rob Race. Darn tootin'. All right. I know you're... You're a man of uh, many flights. I'm surprised that uh, I'm surprised you're able to even join. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to have um, uh, a call center. Um, they are they do business all across the nation, um, but they were interested in your eApp uh, products. And then I thought maybe what we could do is look at seeing if they would qualify for voice app too after the phone call. Uh, but right now they'd certainly be yeah. willing to do apps until we can get them set up to do voice apps. <laughs> yep. So, so we want to, we, we're going to have to, um, that's a whole other process that we're going to have to go through. So we will definitely um, go through the, it's good to go through the products, um, go through the e-app process uh, or go through the products and explain that they're on the e-app. Um, they would have to use e-signature um, initially, but again, we can talk about that offline. So Hi, Rob. Uh, this is Jim McDonough, Barry's partner on East Coast. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, sir? Good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, well, I communicated a couple of emails to you. Uh, Robert Swander, uh, the, the, the Manilokin Group, uh, he, he's, he's, I, I think he's probably on the call. I can't see webinar, but uh, uh, is, uh, uh, Ryan, is the line muted right now, or is it open for Robert if he had to ask a question? Uh, Robert is, uh, sh he should be unmuted. Okay. Okay. Robert, are you there? Let's all here. dial in. Rob, you there? I am. No, I mean, I'm sorry, Robert Swander? Okay, maybe there are a couple minutes. Uh, Ryan, do you see uh, participants on your end? Robert logged in. He's unmuted, but uh, he's got a little, like, unattentive thing, so he's probably still trying to get on right now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Change the panelist over to you, Caitlin. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Center to you. Hold on one. So you guys can see my screen then. Yes, welcome to Mitchell Bowman Hall Products. I can see it. Yes. Well, that that might be the uh, that might be the uh, wrong way. Have you been able to show your screen yet, Caitlin? What are you looking at? I have my PowerPoint pulled up. Um. You know what? I got it says that I'm the presenter because I think that there's two Caitlins in there. Um, I All right, let me uh, let me change that real quick. Hold on. Try this. Hold on. Yeah, it does look like there's two Caitlins. Hold on one second. The one in Omaha is the prettier one. <laughs> there we go. Show my screen. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> I'll say, don't get, don't make me do the the technology stuff. That's Rob's end. So. Okay. It looks like Rob is on mute. Um, I don't know if he's. Uh, he can hear you, and we are watching, it looks like, from his questions. So 
Um, I let me try to unmute him. It does look like maybe he's on self mute. Robert, are you on self mute or? Um, no. Okay. Let me try to hit this one more time. Here is Robert. So this is still muted. Hold on. Let me try this one more time. Now let's see. Robert can uh see if you can't talk real quick. See if it uh worked this time. Oh. Okay, well it says that um you're unmuted on my end, but uh what we'll do is if there's any questions Go ahead and throw them in the question box, and at the end of a, uh, the presentation, we'll go ahead and uh, answer those questions for you. Um, so otherwise, we can go. There'll be a break in between products, um, so we can always just cover the questions quick after the product if we have any to. Okay. Rob, where are you at right now? Are you back at home, or are you uh, off to another state? Well, I was going to say, if this would have been tomorrow, I would have been flying um, on a jet plane to Denver, Colorado. But right now, I am sitting in um, the lukewarm um, city of Venice Beach. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, Jim Mignona is a, one of our large MGA shops, and he has a, a, a wonderful organization that does a lot of call center business that we're really excited to have on board with Mutual of Omaha. Today we have um, Caitlin and Rob from uh, Mutual of Omaha, uh, wonderful insurance company. These are great account executives. These people will be available um, to email, to phone calls. So in case there's any issues with uh, pending cases, uh, any sales ideas, or just you want to go over some products, um, Rob is certainly uh, always available. And if Rob's out of uh, working, uh, we have Caitlin as backup. Um, Caitlin, if you could go ahead and kind of give us the old Mutual of Omaha rundown, um, the products that are approved to sell with an electronic signature for this call center, um, and then we'll go ahead and you know field some question and answers after each product. Sounds good. Well, thank you guys for having us this afternoon. Um, like Rob said, uh, we're both here at Mutual. Rob's kind of on the road every now and then, but I'm here in the home office, so I'm definitely available for questions, comments, concerns, anything you guys need. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with our um, simplified issue portfolio with Mutual of Omaha. So one great thing that Mutual of Omaha has is brand recognition. Everybody knows the Mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom show that aired back in the day before my time here. Um, but everybody knows it, and it's a great way to connect um, kind of the legacy of Mutual with Wild Kingdom. And we also have some pro golfers that um, we sponsor and that are out on the nice sunny golf courses every now and then. And you can see um, our logo and our name is always out um, for people to recognize and know when you start talking about Mutual of Omaha. So some great tools to have um, when you guys are quoting Mutual of Omaha products. Um, there's two different ways you can go about it. Um, so the one on the right hand of the screen is the quotes on the go. Um, you can download this onto your phone, tablet, anything like that on the Google Play or App Store. Um, you search Mutual of Omaha quotes for sales professionals, and you guys can start quoting any of our products. Um, it's great just to have handy, easy. You don't have to, you know, lug your laptop around all the time. But then we do have WinFlex for those full illustrations, and you can just log on to the website and download the software, and you guys can run your full illustrations on there. So with the WinFlex and the full illustrations, um, you can really run them any way you want, and there's just easy download to have it on your computer. The mobile quotes on the go is awesome because you can get every payment option um, right there on one screen. So depending on how the client wants to pay, um, it's all popped up there, easy for them to see. Another great thing with this tool is you guys can customize it to the state that you're selling in the most, the products that you sell the most. Um, so if you only want the simplified issue products, you can click on those. So those are the only ones that default when you guys sign in um, or open the app every single time. 
um, quick candy, um, and easy to use. So this is the EAP process. Let me move some real quick. Um, so this is for our Term Life Express, our Living Promise, our Children's Whole Life product, and our AD, which is our Guaranteed Issue product, which we will be hitting all of these today. Um, so they're easy on the go um, e-applications. So just some different benefits of using that e-app. Um, cases submitted electronically, securely, and the best part is it always has to be in good order. They won't let you submit something if you're missing some information, um, if everything's not filled out. So that's the best part, but apps come in clean and easy for us to review. It's always the most current and updated forms um, and applications that you need wherever you go. So you'll always have the most updated versions and we won't come back asking for different things. Um, you can track your apps from start to finish. Um, so you can always see where they're at. Um, you can choose multiple different signature methods. You can do it on the app or you can print it out and have them do a wet sign. So one of the first products we're going to talk about is the Guaranteed Advantage um, product. So here's just some quick highlights of the product. The issue ages are 18 to 70, face amounts from 50,000 to 500,000. Um, it is a guaranteed issue product. Um, there's a return of premium feature available. There's a common carrier benefit that pays double the death benefit. And then there's an auto or pedestrian benefit that pays an additional 25% of the death benefit to the client. So again, just a quick overview, um, 18 to 70, 50,000 to 500,000. Um, so the common carrier um, rider that's on there doubles the death benefit. Um, and if this, this is a death that results in an accident while riding um, a fair paying vehicle, a bus, a boat, an airplane, anything like that. And then the auto pedestrian benefit will pay an additional 25% on top of the original death benefit if the insured is killed while driving or riding in a private automobile or is struck by an automobile. Those are two just little features that they have. Um, and then there's family coverage. Um, so the spouse coverage, 100% of the primary insured, and then the child coverage is 20% of the primary insured. Um, and these are, this is a policy if they died due to an accident and is guaranteed to age 80. So this is the little chart for the return of premium rider, um, ages issue, issue ages 18 to 50. So depending on the policy year, um, there is different percentages of premiums that will be returned. And this is a simple, easy chart. Again, it is on the mobile quoting app, but there is just a chart um, for the rates of this product. So as you can see, they're just chunked male and female and into different age categories. The face amount, and you can see exactly what they'd be paying paying premium wise. So there is some policy exclusions um, and there's a handful of them here and this is when we would not pay out. Um, so you can kind of see there is just some catches here and there. Um, if the death occurs while the policy is not in force, um, resulting directly or indirectly from disease or bodily harm, um, Declare undeclared war, armed forces. Um, you can kind of see the long list of stuff here. And I can definitely send this presentation out so you guys have all this information um, after I'm done presenting it all. So with our simplified issue stuff, including this product, there is no blood, no urine, no paramed exam. It's a yes to a quick issue, which makes getting paid a lot faster. So the second product I'm going to talk about is the Term Life Express product. Um, issue ages, we just bumped up from 18 to age 70. 
Um, depending on the age of your client, there are some face amount restrictions. So 18 to 50 is 25,000 to 300,000. Ages 51 to 60, um, the max face there is 250,000. And then 61 to 70 um, is 150,000. And then we have a handful of different term lengths. We have the 10, 15, 20, and 30 year. And then we have a return of premium feature only on our 20 and 30 year term products. So here is just the underwriting for those age groups. Um, we will do the MIB and the farm check here in house. Um, we will run the MIB here in house on the younger ages and the older ages. Um, and then we will definitely look at that build chart again. Um, on the older ages, there is gonna be a lab history check and a phone interview as needed. And then jumping back to that younger age group, anybody um, applying for coverage over $250,001, there will be a mandatory phone interview on that one as well. We may always need an extra phone interview depending on what we find in the MIB and farm, but it's not always required. So there is some no cost um, benefits that come built into this product. Um, we have the living benefit rider, which is the terminal, chronic, and critical illness. Um, we have the accelerated death benefit rider, the residential damage waiver premium, the premium waiver premium for unemployment, and then the common carrier death benefit, um, kind of similar to what was on the guaranteed advantage product. So we also have some riders that our cost um, that you can add on to these products, um, the disability income on the non-ROP policies, the accidental death, um, some dependent children coverage, and then the disability waiver of premium. So kind of jumping back to those living benefit riders, um, the chronic illness allows the client to accelerate up to 80% of the death benefit if the insured is not able to perform two of the six ADLs. Um, the terminal illness provides an accelerated death benefit if the insured has a life expectancy of 12 months or less. And then the critical um, provides an accelerated death benefit if any insured has ALS, kidney failure, um, life-threatening cancer, major, major organ failure, heart attack, or a stroke. Again, these are built into the product, so this is no extra cost to your client. So if there is, if you do have the return of premium feature on the policy, you will go ahead and just get the accelerated death benefit. You can accelerate up to 92% of the death benefit with a life expectancy of 24 months or less. And then if you don't have the return of premium feature on the policy, you'll get those three riders that I just spoke about on the living benefits. So to hit on the return of premium, it is available on our 20 and 30 year guaranteed product. It returns all premiums paid and waived, including riders and policy fees. The ROP amount will vary from year to year of the policy if the policy is surrendered early and gives the client an option to choose a reduced paid up policy to guaranteed to age 100. So at the end of their term length, and this can be quoted on the mobile app, the client can choose to have not pay another single penny and have a policy that is paid up. It's a reduced face amount from what they had originally, but it does guarantee them to age 100. So they can choose between uh, the money back at the end of the term or uh, reduced coverage to age 100. That's kind of nice. Correct. Yep. I'm going to go into one more screen. They'll kind of show you um, a little more in detail. So this is the illustration showing um, up top there, the initial monthly premium of the policy was $33.94. Um, the total cost over the 30 years, and then the total premium returned in policy year 30 would be $24,955.20. And so down at the bottom, it would explain that this client, if they did not want to pay a single penny, but they wanted to get more coverage, could get a reduced paid up policy 
with a death benefit of $61,759.60. Um, so just two options for your client if they want to extend that coverage guaranteed to age 100 on the TLE ROP policies, they do have that option. Like you said, get the money back or the reduced paid up uh, policy guaranteed to age 100. So like I explained on the mobile quoting tool, it is um, down at the bottom, um, would show what the reduced paid up policy would be at the end of that term length. So you can always quote that and kind of give your client a heads up, hey, you can get your premiums back or um, you can get the reduced paid up. And so they kind of know that going in to signing the application that they do have options there at the end of their 20 or 30 year term length. Caitlin, I just jumped on. I oh, had a quick yeah. question. Of on, the, on the critical illness rider, okay, you can, you, uh, you know, that can, uh, uh, what would that pay out? Like if somebody had like uh, life threatening cancer, you know, but they're not, you know, they didn't die, but they have life threatening cancer. If, like, is it based on their face amount, how much they would get? Yep, so it's, it depends on their, uh, their original death benefit, um, and they would get a portion of that. Um, I can send out, I have another slide on a different presentation. I can send out the calculations for it. Um, okay, yeah. yeah, when you send this, if you can send that also, I think that would be a, that would be a big help. Of course. Thank you. Of course. All right, go yeah. back to where. Oh. Is the express convertible to a, a permanent product? What was that? Is the term life express convertible? Of course, I was just getting back to that slide. So we do have conversion privileges on the term life express product. Um, at the end of the year, they can go into the GUL Express or the Living Promise product. Um, so at the end of the level term period or the policy anniversary following the insured 70th birthday. Um, so there are partial conversions allowed on that, well, on that as well, but we do have conversion privileges with minimum face amounts on the GUL Express of 25000 and then that Living Promise product of 2000 So they do have that option as well. Um, if they didn't have that TLE ROP policy, we can convert it, um, and they can extend their, you know, coverage of life insurance further on. Okay, but if they have the ROP, they can't convert. Is that accurate statement or no? Well, they could they could re do the reduced paid up option, which then they wouldn't have to continue paying any more premiums. Um, with these, you would still have to pay premiums on the converted policy. So, like, it, would you guys be able to do a return of premium and let the client convert, or no? That is a great question, Robert. Do you know answer that one? Third. Yes, um, the, the, the you can actually convert. Um, it's just a question of um, do you want to pay for the uh, permanent amount for the full, you know, for the full death benefit, or um, or do you want to um, you know, have a, a reduced paid up option and never have to pay another dime into uh, uh, till age 100. And I've covered till age 100. So they do have that option, um, but it kind of just depends on what your client would want. If they want to continue paying premiums or if they would want to have the reduced paid up option. But that, you know, but the, the selling feature for that definitely is the fact that when you have the ROP, um, as long as you're within that conversion window, um, you have even more flexibility than what you would with just a return of premium. You know, it's not just that you either get your money back or you have a smaller policy that you never have to pay another dime. You now have the ability to convert to whatever, you know, simplified issue policies were selling at the time. And for some people, especially if you're younger, one of the unique sales ideas that may be coming down the pike is um, taking our Term Life Express for someone who's 20 or 18 and then converting that in five to 10 years to a simplified issue index universal life. Because um, there's, you know, we're working on building one of those right now. And so this term would convert to that. And so now you're turning um, someone that got a term policy now, locked in their insurability. Now, five, 10 years from now, since their income has increased, 
um, maybe they want to look at a um, index universal life where they can gain some cash value and gain some additional pieces. And heck, if it's after year five, um, the agent gets a full comp on it. So something to think about. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> So with that, we definitely have great marketing pieces on all of our products. Um, you can call this sales support 800 number, and they can ship out any pieces to you. Um, this highlight sheet on the right-hand side is definitely my go-to and my, my number one favorite piece. Um, it just gives an overview of the entire product and the writers and the features of everything. So if you guys need any of those, um, go ahead and write down that number and give them a call, and they can order it and ship them out to you guys. All right, the next product, our living promise or our final expense product. So we have two um, benefit plans on here. We have the level and the graded. Um, if you qualify for the level benefit, issue ages are 45 to 85 um, with a minimum face amount of 2,000 or the max face of 40,000. And this issues at a standard tobacco or standard non-tobacco um, risk class. And then if you qualify for the graded death benefit, it's age 45 to 80, and that max face amount is 20,000. Um, again, standard tobacco, standard non-tobacco for the risk class on that benefit plan. Um, so there's multiple benefits of this policy. Um, it's a tax-free death benefit to help your family. Um, you can do a one-time election to accelerate the death benefit while living. Um, again, if diagnosed with a terminal illness with 12 months or less um, of life expectancy less, or if you are confined to a nursing home for 90 consecutive days or more, and then you're expected to remain there. Um, and that is with the accelerated death benefit. And then this is an additional um, accidental death benefit um, equal to the face amount if it results in an accidental bodily injury and um, independently of sickness and other causes, um, you can add that to the level death benefit policy. So how do you know if your client qualifies for the level or graded death benefit? Um, we have a two-part underwriting um, process. So if you can get through part one, which is these four questions, and answer no to all of them, your client will get some sort of coverage. Unfortunately, if they answer yes to one of these, they will be declined and they are not eligible for coverage. So as long as we can get through that first part with all questions being answered no, they will have some sort of coverage. Part two is just another six questions. If they can get through um, all of these six questions with the questions all being answered no, they will get that level benefit. If they have to answer yes to one of these, they will receive the graded death benefit. So as long as they can get through that part one, part two will kind of determine exactly where they go from there. It looks like we're still frozen on part one right now. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, it says I lost connection, so give me a second here. This product's good for your older age clients, um, maybe the clients that uh, <clears throat> can't afford uh, Term Life Express. Uh, it's a nice way to lower the face amount, get a plan in force. Most people that I work with uh, in the senior market <clears throat> tend to write not so much face amount, we don't write so much face amount business. It's usually done on a money purchase approach. So if you want to keep it simple for your, uh, your call center and you're, in your, and you're working an older age client, maybe what you do is you just put, you know, three basic quotes uh, together for your call center so they know that, hey, uh, you know, a $40, a $60, an $80 a month plan will, um, uh, would be easy to market. To those clients, whereas like, hey, I got a forty dollars a month, sixty or eighty. What fits your budget? If they say sixty, it's real easy to solve and reverse and get that death benefit. I sometimes believe some coverage is always a little bit better than no coverage. Even if a client says I need fifteen thousand dollars of coverage, 
it's amazing how much we end up selling them. We end up might sell them five to ten thousand just because uh, it fits their budget. So most importantly, I think when you're dealing with the older age market, is to um, find a premium that um, it fits their budget, um, but it isn't as comprehensive as the amount of insurance they're looking for. So as long as you got something there that fits their budget, dollar a day, cup of Starbucks a day, um, you should have a really nice persistent business. Perfect. Okay, I think I'm back up and running. Can you guys see this part two? Yes. Yep. Perfect. Sorry about the technical delay on my side. So this is the part two questions. Um, like I said, if they can get through this second part as well with all questions being answered, no, they will receive that level benefit. If they ha have to answer yes to one or any of the questions, they'll receive the graded death benefit. Um, so just kind of a little brief, brief recap. Level benefit, they have to answer no to all health questions. Um, graded be death benefit, yes, on the part two. Um, and if on the part one they have to answer yes, they will be ineligible for coverage. Um, again, we will run MIB Farm in-house on these clients, and then there will be phone interviews as needed if something just needs to be clarified um, on any information. So we just launched an automated underwriting tool with this Living Promise product. Um, this will deliver an instant underwriting decision while you are sitting in-house with your client or over the phone. You'll know exactly um, right away. It is available only on our Living Promise um, final expense product that I just described. And you can get a decision all day, every day, and you can get um, a level approval. Um, the graded the approval, the declined, or a referral. Normally on the referral, we just need to check some in-house things, and it will just be quickly reviewed within 24 hours with an underwriter, and you'll have a decision then. Um, and you can use this on your desktop, laptop, or any mobile device. It does work better if you can log into Wi-Fi anywhere, um, or you have strong cell service. Um, Wi-Fi is definitely recommended, but you can use it if you have good cell service. So how the process works, you fill out the client's personal information, you then up front have them sign that HIPAA authorization form, and while you are asking the rest of the underwriting questions, we are running that MIB and farm check on your client, and once you are done, you just complete and submit the application. And after you uh, click that submit button, this is the screen that would pop up um, to show you Hey, congratulations, down here at the bottom, um, you were approved for the level death benefit, and it gives you that policy number, and we'll get it all issued in-house and mailed out within 24 hours. Um, so it's great, quick, and easy, and you have that decision for your client right away. So these are kind of the wordings that you will see when you get that underwriting decision. Um, the level, the graded, the referral um, is a little shorter i'm um, just saying we need further review on here and then unfortunately they are um, declined and unable to offer coverage um, but they may qualify for any other mutual products um, you just have to look and see if they are eligible for the i mean there's the guaranteed advantage which is the auto issue product we have one question if we submit as and it comes back graded, will your system automatically reduce death benefit to keep premium the same, or will it also show you another option? Hey, if you want the same face, it would be this premium. So if you were going through as level and then you received graded, so it would drop from, they did the max of 40000 and then the client was uh, came back as graded, it will drop that face amount of the max of 20000 um, just because that's the max you can get for that graded death benefit. Um, so we'll, we will automatically on the system drop it down. But if like we went in with a 10,000 level, it comes back graded, will your system say, hey, you, congratulations, you proved for graded, but your new face amount is 8,300 for that same premium commitment? Is that um, Rob, I, you may know that one better than I do. Yeah, the what will happen when the um, if it comes back as graded, what will happen is that the um, uh, in the plan in or in the the proposed 
in the, the policy information section, um, right after you go through the beneficiary section, um, the screen that shows the face amount will um, open up and the face amount will, you will be allowed to adjust the face amount um, to anything below what was originally started with. So let's say you started with um, uh, uh, 40,000 and they were approved as graded. Um, it would bump it down to um, 10,000, but you could change that to 8,000 if you wanted to. Flip side to that is that if it was 8,000 um, and you wanted to bump it up to 10,000, you are not able to do that as of right now. Um, there is a fix that is scheduled to be um, um, worked on for that, um, but we do not have an ETA for that. Okay. How long does it usually take? Uh, one more question. How much does it usually take to, or how long to get paid commissions if Let's say something was issued today. So if your agents are on express pay or what we call daily pay, um, if this is um, submitted, approved, and issued today before uh, 2 p.m. Central Time, they will actually get paid tomorrow. So as long as they get that cut off before 2 p.m. Central Time, um, we will run the commissions overnight. All right, so once we receive that um, approval screen, what happens next is the application gets submitted to Mutual of Omaha. The agent receives an email confirmation with the policy number. Underwriting completes just our admin requirements here in-house, push a couple buttons to issue the policy, and then we mail out that policy and we are good to go. So we do have a couple videos here. Um, to give you step-by-step -step on how this process works. Um, so there is two different method, methods of doing it. Um, you guys will probably use that email signature method as you'll be on the phone with the client versus being in person. Um, so go ahead and use that top link when I send this um, presentation over. Um, that'll give you the step-by-step -step on how to complete the automated underwriting process. All right, and could kind of link off of that final expense product is we have a children's whole life product. This is an easy seller to grandparents or those older clients that have grandkids um, to get them a little bit of coverage as well. So we have issue ages of 14 days, so two weeks up to 17 years of age um, with face amounts from 5,000 to 50,000. Um, there is no medical exam done a whopping two health questions that they need to complete. And the grandparents can sign these applications without the parent, we don't need the parent um, signature on here, except if you're selling in Pennsylvania. Um, and just some additional little features on here. It does build some cash value. The coverage is guaranteed to age 100. We have this awesome guaranteed insurability rider and then the waiver of premium. So this um, helps cover the cost um, with an unexpected loss of your child. Um, it does grow cash value along with the child and has some protection for your child's future insur insurability. Um, and a two week old can be approved for $50,000 worth of coverage for $16 a month. So that guaranteed insurability rider option that we have, you're able to increase the original face amount that was applied for up to five times during the following events. When the insured gets married, when they buy a home, when they have a child or adopt a child, or on the policy anniversary date following the insured's 25th, 30th, 35th, or 40th birthday. So they can accelerate you know, or get additional coverage of one of these five times. Um, so there is seven options here, they just choose five of those um, or have the option to pick five of those life events where they can get additional coverage. Um, the waiver of premium due to the death of an owner rider. Um, so sometimes if the grandparents are taking these out, they may be the 
payer of this policy. So this is a no-cost rider that waives the premium for one 90-day period if the owner dies while the policy is in force. Um, the benefit is available 24 months after the policy issue date. Um, the benefits waived will not be deducted from the death benefit. So this just allows the client to get the premiums back on the books, um, get the new payer in line so they don't lose this coverage. All right, that is all I had today. I know we had some questions um, during the presentation, but if you guys have any more, feel free to ask them. Um, or when I send this out, you guys have my email contact. You can always shoot me some if you think of some later as well. Yeah, I have uh, two questions. Uh, the first question is, um, do the parents need to sign uh, if a grandparent is taking out a policy on the children's whole life product? Or can, they, and can it just be a, a grandparent's signature? It's just the grandparents unless you're selling in Pennsylvania. Then we will need the parent signature. Otherwise, the grandparent signature is all we need. Caitlin, can I give you Rob's email so you could send this directly to him when you send it to me as well? Of course. Yeah, just shoot me an email. Okay. Hey, hey Rob, did, Swanda, did you dial in? I mean, did, if you did actually dial in the actual uh, the phone number with the access code because you have any questions that you might have right now personally that you can ask. Uh, you know, Ryan, Ryan's been trying to unmute you. I have all his questions uh, that he's texting me right now. Okay. Um, last question is, um, I believe, Rob, last time we talked about maybe a week or so ago, uh, a policy is printed and put in the mail, and the clients have the ability to um, accept a higher face amount. Is that accurate? Where they're almost being marketed a second time? To say, hey, you know, do you that, know that you is, can... Yeah, that's actually on our fully underwritten term product. That's only answers. Term okay. Answers. Got yep. Yep. Uh, all of the, uh, one of the questions, all the applications are submitted through WinFlex. Uh, it's actually through IGO, is yep. the uh, platform that you'll use. But what, uh, to complete an electronic application, you will log into your Mutual of Omaha. Uh, website, I think it's accounts.mutualvomaha.com, and on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a hyperlink that says eApps. Uh, now, if you log in as a corporation, you're not going to see all the eApps that are available. So, uh, for some of you people that are also contracted as a corp, um, make sure you log in as the right, your writing agent number, so all of the eApps show up uh, on your uh, Mutual of Omaha website. Question. Rob, we'll go ahead and get this um, sent to you. I have you at rob at acmgsales.com. I'll send your email over to Caitlin, and she'll go ahead and uh, fire off the uh, PowerPoint. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll, we have this recorded as well. So um, I'll uh, sometime tomorrow I'll pull this recording down, chop it up, and I'll send it over to you guys for training purposes. So if you guys hire more call center reps, um, this will be a video for him. All right? Yep. Hey, Rob, Rob Ray. If you need any more information, yes, pieces, anything like that from me, feel free. Shoot those over, and I can get them out to you guys. Yeah, Rob, this is Chip McDonald. I was wondering, after this, after this webinar, can you give me a quick call directly, if that's possible? Yep. Hey, it's uh, it's 856-324-2800. All righty, sounds good. Hi right, guys, thanks everybody uh, for uh, hanging out with us here. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting you guys up and running with Mutual of Omaha. I think you'll find that almost every insured that you talk to will be very confident because of the Mutual of Omaha carrier name. Not to mention their ratings are just uh, amazing, uh, great rated, great Comdex or full company. So I think you'll be really happy with the Mutual of Omaha family. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Rob. We appreciate that. For and, having uh, us. Yeah. Easy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.